Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Welcome to my retirement party. Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life but we don't take life too seriously. My name is Shireen, and today we're gonna talk about why I stopped wedding planning. Cue the intro. You ready? I've gotten a lot of questions about why I stopped wedding planning and I'm finally ready to explain why. Grab your parents, cause I'm gonna try my best to not swear because I would like to talk to your parents as well about this. To start off, I wanna say that I loved all my clients. I'm pretty sure I loved all my clients. And I'm so thankful for all of you guys for believing in me and letting me be a part of such an important day and I do not take that lightly. But we are going to rewind. <laughs> why I decided to be a wedding planner. Um, we talked about in our last video that five years ago, Sonu decided to commit to DJing full time. And I'd always wanted to be a planner. I've always been a planner. I've always been the girl that was like gathering people. I've always been a party girl. Party all the time. So I decided to finally try it out. So I reached out to a bunch of planners, I worked with some planners, and then I started working on my own. And then in 2018, I finally quit my job. So it was something that I wanted to do for a long time. And the kick in the butt was I got booked for my first out-of-state gig. And so I had an amazing couple fly me out to Houston. And they just recently sent me a message thanking me. And it was so sweet. And it was just like, okay, I'm going to do this. I had them book me a flight to be out there for a week. So I had to like force myself to quit my job because I used all my vacation days to go to India. And so... I knew deep down inside, I wasn't sure, right? But I knew that if I did it, wasn't gonna try, I was gonna always regret it. And so I tried, and then I knew that it wasn't really for me, but I had, you know, committed to clients and whatnot. And so I started reaching out to other events and I started doing like festivals and whatnot. And that was just like, so my vibe. Like being in a music space is just where my heart sings. I love that kind of energy and I love being a part of a big team. So when I was doing weddings, I was the lead typically and I would have a support team. And so I love like leadership roles. I love being in charge. I loved contributing to a big team and a big effort. Towards the end of 2018, I started reaching out to brands and agencies. And so I have a background in marketing. So I was a brand manager. And so my whole spiel was I have this marketing experience and I have this event production experience. So y'all should hire me to do your events, right? And so I sent out a ton of emails. I got a lot of no responses. And then I finally got an email response from a agency owner. Eventually we ended up talking and it was like an amazing conversation and it was so dope for him to like give me his time. I had already had this confidence in myself that I was like worthy of what I wanted, but he like kind of reinstated that confidence. The question that he asked me that really had me thinking was how do you want to feel and so what he ended up doing is he connected me to all these different people without even really knowing me and then that led to nike gigs uber gigs a bunch of branded gigs in 2019 that was the point where i finally stopped taking gigs and it was a really challenging decision because i was just saying no to money i was just saying no to business and i was really good at it and people were telling me that i was really good at it and i kept on doubting myself like is this the right decision so there was two really traumatic events um from 2019 that was really hard for me I honestly still like have PTSD about it and it's just you know it was a lot of anxiety it was a lot of feeling like I was doing the wrong thing but I felt like I was supposed to be doing this it was just a lot of confusion honestly and I knew deep down inside it wasn't for me the thing about weddings it's very emotional it's a lot of pressure and I can handle it I'm very calm and a lot of the weddings I was doing were really big weddings and I totally understand why you have to have a big wedding like any people they'd be inviting like everybody they've ever known since they've like moved to America I get it but that's just not really my vibe and the thing is is like it becomes this big production which I definitely can appreciate a big production I'm all about music i'm all about decor i'm all about the whole thing but i think when you start losing the real meaning of a wedding and it starts becoming this like comparison game or like how do i impress people it was just wasn't sitting right 
for me. And then honestly, couples were usually pretty good. It was like the families that were really challenging. Parents, siblings, aunties and uncles that think they like control the situation and have some say, you know, it just was really wearing down on me and it was just making me feel very sad. Honestly, just being an Indian young female in a leadership role, I think people had a problem with it and there were situations where I felt like I was just really disrespected. I was talked to like a child and I just wasn't vibing. I just wasn't, I, I feel like I gave it a solid chance and it just wasn't for me. It was emotionally draining and honestly, I just go really hard. Like I work really hard for my clients and that's never gonna change. And I made a lot of mistakes, honestly, and those mistakes were very challenging for me to go through, but that's just how it works when you take risks, right? And so you, you may feel like an ultimate failure and it might be really challenging at the time, but I can tell you right now, I do not regret any of these decisions and I'm so glad that I did what I did and I, I took the chance and I tried it out. I've considered only doing weddings that I'm like vibing with, like it would have to be 250 people or less, five people on each side for bridal party max. You would have to do a first look and then you would have to hire basically vendors that I like. It's pretty much what I would want. But then I was just like, you know, I'm not gonna say like, I'm never gonna ever do a wedding ever again. Never say never. But it's just not what I was put on earth to do. I was not put on earth to be a wedding planner. The thing about branded events that I really vibe with is I like creating experiences and I like how the mind works. So what's cool is, you know, you're creating a memory, you're creating this experience, and then people connect that to a company. They connect that to a brand. And so I like that kind of vibe. I like working with professionals. I like working with businesses. And so I just know that that's like a better fit for me. Another thing is I like to use my voice. I knew that I wanted to spend a little bit more time on using my voice. I've said in the past, like I'm a background girl and then I remember a couple years ago, someone called me out and was like, no, you're not, you're not a background girl. And I think what it is, is I've always been kind of uncomfortable with the attention, but as I've gotten more comfortable with using my voice, you know, just getting into practice, I've come to terms that, you know, I'm bringing attention to my work and not necessarily to me. And that's what's important to me. And then I have this book that I'm working on and I will share with you guys soon. And I hope it's something that you guys give to your bridal party and give to your parents and give to your aunts and uncles. So the subtitle, I'm sorry, is it a, I don't know what it's called. The top part is going to be a guide to the wedding guest and or family member. We're still working on it. And then the title will be, it's not about you. Because that was my biggest issue with weddings is everyone thinks it's about them. Everyone thinks, oh my goodness, I'm not sitting there. Oh my goodness. They didn't include me in this picture. Oh my goodness. Like y'all just need to be thankful that you are a part of this event. And like, I get it. It's two families coming together and it's, it's very important, but we just need to take a deep breath. And realize, you know, what are we here for? We are here to celebrate two people. We are here to celebrate love. And that is enough. I'm down to like consult if like couples want to hire me or if planners or other vendors want to hire me. I have a lot of knowledge. I have a lot of experience that I would love to share with you guys. I love weddings, you guys. I love marriage. I love love. I've gotten a lot of questions about why we got married in New Orleans and the reason why is because we are party people. <laughs> um, New Orleans is a party city. We love Southern food. We love live music. We love to have a good time. And I would advise you as a couple, as a single person that wants to get married, to think about what you love and how can you create that experience with the people that you love and make it unique and make it you. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. We really appreciate you. Thank you for sharing my content. I'm so thankful for all these like new people that are coming into my life. Like. You guys know I love sending y'all videos when you start following me and it's so cool because I'm like creating these really cool connections and meeting all these new people with Instagram lives and we're talking about some really cool things and some like really deep things and I'm really thankful that people are down for these conversations and it's been fun. So I hope you guys are doing well and I can't wait to see people in real life. And let's give a shout out to my pants right quick. I'm gonna try to step on my couch 
so y'all can see. But check out these pants. That is so fat. So these pants are made from one of my mom's old saris. I was working on that in India when I was there last. And I have a seamstress here in Chicago that's working on another one, but we're on hold right now. And this is another project that I'm like really vibing with, you guys. Like I'm vibing with like video creation. I'm vibing with like fashion right now. I'm vibing with music, like we're working on some music stuff. You don't need to like be an expert at any of these things. Like just do it, just try it, see if you like it. And then if you don't, cool, whatever, at least you tried. That's just my advice to you guys. Don't overthink it, just do you, all right? Thank you guys so much, goodbye!